believe that everyone should have an education because everyone is unique in their own very special way and they need to find their gifts because everyone has a gift and education just strengthens those gifts. My name is Alexis Hardrick. I am 18 years old and I have dwarfism. My name is Avery Myers and I have spina bifida. My name is Angel Walker and I have bilateral amelia. Can you tell me about your condition? I was born with dwarfism. Its technical term is achondroplasia, which makes you small, like which makes you become smaller. Um, it stops you from growing at a certain time in your life. I have spina bifida, which is when you're born, your uh, spine is curved, and you have a, a hole in the back of your in your like lower spine that they have to correct right away or, or you won't survive. My condition is called bilateral amelia, so I was born without my arms. What are your passions and goals? I'm most passionate about ROTC and all the things they um, helped me accomplish in ROTC. And I'm passionate about helping people and having them see me in a positive way. Uh, Sergeant Major Rudy Carter. I am a senior Army instructor here at Winter Haven High School Army JROTC program. Uh, I've uh, had the privilege of teaching uh, Angel uh, Walker for the past two and a half years. Uh, she came into our program, very uh, committed and dedicated uh, person. Uh, over the years, I've got a chance to know her and her uh, attitude uh, is impeccable. She's been uh, an inspiration to not only myself, but many of the uh, students that are part of our program. Um, my dad is in construction, and he has been in construction for like 20 years, and I always go with him to work. So, and what I want to do is I want to take it over once he retires, and that's like my goal in life is to be him. I teach Avery Myers in 12th grade English. He's a good student. He's kind to others. He gets along with everyone. He's got a really good sense of humor. Um, he's easy to tease. It's always funny because he's got such a good sense of humor. And he's just all around a good student, a good kid. I teach Alexis. She's a wonderful student. She's very hardworking, quiet, and just perfect. Can you tell me about a difficult situation? Um, surgeries. My freshman year, I had two metal rods put down my spine that corrected it because when I was born my spine was it looked like an S um, so what they did is they put metal rods down my, on each side of my spine to correct it and I have two like 40 screws to up uh, and two rods so now my spine is straight as it's ever been I don't really have a difficult situation I always uh, look at things positive. I don't let nothing come in front of me to stop. How has Winter Haven High School affected your life? In ninth grade, I um, joined ROTC, and they made me feel uh, accepted in their program. Miss Williams, she's been there for me since day one, uh, always helping me, always so nice to me. Anytime that the that we have like elevator issues or something like that. She's always like, hey, come to my office, you know? So she's, she's, I'm definitely gonna miss her when I graduate, like no doubt. When people see you, what do you want them to see? When people see me, I want them to be inspired and I want them to love them, their self because I love myself, so you should love yourself. I want them to see a, a normal, normal person, normal size. I'm just smaller and it's nothing different. Independence, me being able to go out with friends, you know, do anything without having uh, my parents or somebody, you know, helping me. 
education 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 is for me 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 education is for me education is for everyone